In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to create an Excel spreadsheet with a list of items and then importing those items into Unity and using them within your database. So if you can see here, I created a empty game object with my item database and it's got a couple of items added to it. Uh, this is data that we've loaded from a CSV file here, um, which we saved from our Excel document. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is just jump into Excel and I'm going to show you guys how to set that up. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the Excel spreadsheet for our item database. Now we're only going to be using a couple of very simple variables just to show you guys how um, we can import this data from our Excel spreadsheet into Unity. So right now we're just going to have an ID for the item. This is just a quick way to look up the item within the database if we want to. Uh, the name of the item, description of the item, and then you can also add in different things like cell price, maybe armor, weight, uh, anything like that. But uh, for right now, we're just going to uh, just keep these basic uh, variables here. So I'm just going to type in a couple of things, just create some uh, generic items. Maybe we want a uh, fire sword. Uh, And then we could do ID2 for this one, and we could do like Ice Shield. Defense against ice attacks. So once we have our basic stats set up here, what we want to do is actually export this. So in Google Documents, we can go down to Download. And typically, um, if you're just saving this as maybe a backup, you might want to save it as an Excel. But if we actually want to uh, read this document from Unity, we probably want to reference it as a CSV file. So what we'll do is we'll just save it as a CSV file. We'll just leave it as item database and we can save it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is set up a couple of files that we're going to be using. Uh, the first one is going to be this CSV reader. And this is going to make it so we can actually read through the CSV files and grab the data that we want. So I will, I will be including uh, this in the description below just to make it easier because this is a uh, pretty long script here. I'm not going to have you guys type out that whole thing. And then uh, what we're going to need is a item class and our actual uh, script for loading the Excel file itself or the CSV file. And uh, next, what we're going to need to do, so in your assets, you're going to want to create a brand new folder and name it resources. And this is going to be a place where we can actually access that CSV file and load the data from it. So resources is kind of like a built-in thing in the Unity uh, editor. And this is where um, stuff will be referenced if you're creating a path within your uh, files here. So this is pretty much the default path, and uh, so we're just going to put it in there for now just to keep track. So this is our CSV reader script, and what it's pretty much going to do is allow us to just grab the data that's within that uh, template that we set up. So depending on uh, which um, variable we're trying to reference, we can grab the specific data related to that variable slot. So, um, yep, this is just going to be what we're going to be using for reading that stuff. Uh, I've looked and researched a couple of different ways that people have done this, and this seems to be the easiest way to do this. So, yeah, I'll leave this uh, in the description below so you guys can grab this script, and then we can uh, continue on to uh, writing the rest of our code to actually load the data from the CSV file. Now here in our item class, we'll just go over a couple of things. Uh, first thing, we're going to want to get rid of the mono behavior. We're not going to need that. And we're going to want to add this system.serializable. So when we're creating this class here for each one of our items, uh, we're just going to want to input the different variables uh, associated with our actual Excel spreadsheet that we created. So in those different categories, we had things such as ID, name, description, you just want to make sure that it's the correct variable for each one. ID is just going to be numbers, so that should be an int. And name description are going to be strings, so we just have that set up there. And these are just going to be setting each one of our variables in here uh, when we go to create the item itself. 
So this is pretty much all we need. If you're adding anything extra, you're just going to, let's say you added uh, armor or something, you would just go in, add something like uh, armor, and then you could just copy this, paste that, something like that. So depending on uh, the different variables that you have, depending on uh, how many stats you want for an item itself, or if you want to add on to it, uh, that's what you would do to add onto it. But for now, we're just going to leave it uh, just really basic here, just three different variables that we can uh, reference from when we're creating our item, just to show you guys how to load the data correctly. Now we're in our load Excel class. So within here, we're going to be uh, loading the CSV data and also adding it to our database itself. Uh, first thing we're gonna need is uh, two things here. One is just going to be a blank item from our uh, item class here. And then uh, the next thing we're going to need to create is a list of items and we're going to be adding that to an item database. So all the items that are, are assigned, first they're a blank item, then we add in all the stats um, from the CSV data. And what we're going to do is add each one of those items to our item database from there. So uh, the first method we're going to be creating is this load item data. And what we're gonna wanna do is just clear the database first. So if we have any old data, uh, maybe we uh, updated our item database uh, CSV file and we changed around some stats and renamed some things and did a bunch of different stuff. Uh, what we wanna do first is just clear out that entire database and replace it with all the new data that we've created or updated. And then we're going to want to actually read the uh, CSV file. So the first thing we're going to do is reference uh, where the CSV file is. So uh, we're going to be re reading directly from the item database. And this is the file that we put in our resources, resources uh, folder. And this is the CSV file that we uh, downloaded from earlier and put into there. So what it's going to be doing is grabbing that and then we want to do a for loop through all that data and read everything that's within there. So the first thing we're going to do is look for the ID. And what we want to do is actually convert that ID. Since everything's going to be a string, we are going to be converting it to an int so we can actually use it as an int. Uh, so we're just going to be parsing that data within here. So that's what um, we are doing. And uh, when you're assigning, um, this area here, you're going to want to make sure that you're assigning the exact naming convention that you put in your uh, Excel document. So we had ID, we have name, and we have description here. So you want to make sure that those match. And so for these ones, we are just converting them uh, to a string and applying it to here as a string. Now once we have all these set, so we've grabbed all the data that we want from the uh, CSV file, we want to actually add the item or take that data and add it to an item in our database. So we're going to be creating this other method down here, which is add item. So that's what it's going to be calling. It's going to be plugging in these three things into here. And then we're also going to be assigning them here as well. So we can transfer these into here and assign it to an item. So the first thing we want to do within here to get our item actually added is we're just gonna create a blank item. So it's going to be grabbing uh, this blank item here. Uh, so all the settings are going to just be null or have nothing in them. And we're going to be assigning these values to them. And then what we wanna do is actually um, assign them directly to this item itself. So we're gonna be going in there, assigning tempitem.id is equal to id, which is the one that we passed in here. And that's how we are going to be assigning all these objects. So from here, once our object is done, completed, we've added all the data to it, uh, what we're going to want to do is add it into our item database. So it's just item database .add, and then we add this temp item with all our details of that item in there. And so this for loop is going to go through, it's going to check, um, check everything for each item that we've entered in. So, so far we only have two items within our database. So we should only expect that two items will be entered into that database itself. So 
Uh, now all we need to do is just go into our custom editor window and what we're going to be setting up is a way just to uh, call this uh, call these methods here in order to uh, have it run. So as long as we have our uh, CSV file within that resources folder, every time we call this, it should be checking for that and updating everything. Uh, one side note that we need to also do real quick, we'll probably jump out and do that, is um, add these scripts to uh, like an empty game object within your world so we can get that set up here. So normally with this, I would have a separate script maybe for an item database. But for now, just to keep it simplistic, we'll just leave it as this low Excel and we'll just keep all our items within uh, just our basic item database, how we have it set up now. So what we're going to want to do is go into game object and we can just create an empty game object and we could just call this uh, databases. And we can throw this script onto here. And as we can see, if we add um, some items here, we can see the elements, ID, name, description. Uh, they're all going to be blank for now. We'll just leave that as zero. And we have our blank item here. So what we want to do is um, call the script load Excel from this databases uh, empty game object here. And we can get that to run through and load uh, these items here from our uh, CVS file. So what we're going to do is just jump into our um, custom editor window and we will add a button to load this data. So once we're back in our custom editor window, this is uh, what we created in the previous tutorial. So if you guys haven't watched that, you can go back and watch that and uh, figure out how we set this up. And uh, what we're going to be doing is just adding in a new button so that we can actually call and load uh, our databases here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just organize it by creating a new label for reload item databases. And then we're going to create a brand new button, uh, reload items. And in here, uh, what we're going to be doing is finding the game object that's within our world there in the editor. Uh, that we named databases, that's just that empty game object. Uh, we're going to be getting the component uh, load Excel, which is the script that's attached to it. And we're going to be calling the method load item data. So every time we press this button, it'll call everything from that, uh, from that class and reload our item database. So we can jump into game and we can uh, check out how that works. So as you can see right now, our item database is empty. So what we want to do is go to Tools, Custom Window, and we can see our brand new button here for Reload Items. So if we go ahead and press that, you can see our item database has now generated with two items. So we can close that. We can go look in here and drop this down. You can see, I'll just extend this out a little bit. So you can see that the ID of the first item is one, the name is Fire Sword, and this sword is on fire. Uh, item two is the ice shield, defense against ice attacks. So you can see how um, you can more easily organize your item databases in this way. So if you're just trying to create something uh, that's more organized within the Excel spreadsheets and you want something that you can back up easily and that's easily read and converted uh, into data that can be read within Unity here, um, that's an easy way to add that into your game. And this can be used for more than just items. I've used it for quests before in the past. You can use it for monsters, NPCs, uh, pretty much anything you can think of. You're just going to have to create a class around it and uh, load it in a similar way, depending on uh, what each one of the variables is there. But uh, I hope this was useful to you guys. Um, if you have any suggestions for any tutorials I should do, uh, you can leave them down in the comments below. And yep, thanks for watching.